If I think about the romance of Africa, it's the smell, it's the sound, it's, it's the light, it's magical. My name is Emma Childs. My husband and I both own and manage the Emma Coco. The Emma Coco is on a gorge on the border of Nairobi National Park. This is Kenya's oldest national park. Here it is as it was hundreds of years ago. Nairobi is the only capital city with a wildlife park like this. It's not like it's a gradual entry. You've got an absolute wilderness and then a concrete jungle, and they're right on top of each other. We've got this little piece of the planet and we've kept it as it is, with humanity pressing around every corner of it, and it's still, it's still here. There are very few countries that have um, community and wildlife living so close to each other and living coexisting. When you see Nairobi City with Nairobi National Park side by side, I think that defines where we are on the planet. I mean, humanity and environment is clashing. I think if every, every human being on the planet could come and visit places like this, they would be much more inclined to fight to protect them. The reason that only a few of us are protecting it is because we are the lucky ones that live or see these, and those that do are the ones that want to fight to keep it. It is such an assault on your senses coming to a place like Kenya because it isn't just wildlife, it isn't just the dust, it's, it's the culture, it's the topography, it's the starry nights, the skies. There's nowhere in the world like it. We are a home away from home. That's the whole point of us.